Alright, more Falcon 3. This is a intercept mission. I'm just getting right the hell into it, because <laughs> it's an intercept mission. Come on, there's nothing that complicated going on here. We're gonna get some AIM-9... I'm thinking... Uh, maybe we can go without the medium-range missiles. Let's check what kind of planes we're dealing with, actually. If we're dealing with something that can kick our butts... What are we intercepting? We're intercepting two MiG-23s. Is that it? Huh. You know, in that case, I don't... Mm. Okay, that I'm not certain about. I don't know if they're that dangerous. MiG-23s? How many AIM-120s do I have? Oh, 116. I'll load some on my plane, and my wingmen can just deal with it. Maybe this time I'll actually get a hit on something. Oh good lord, did I ever turn on my... Joystick, yes I did, okay good. I've done that a handful of times where I've, I've launched the game and never turned on my joystick. So I'm curious, I'm looking into getting um, one of the old Thrustmaster, what is it, F-16 FCS systems with the throttle and the joystick. I, I do like the CH fighter stick USB, but it's just not quite an F-16 flight stick. And I like the the new F-16 sticks um, that they're doing as well, but they're hundreds of dollars, so frankly, screw that. And and there's a throttle that they used to make modeled after an actual F-16 throttle, which is very cool because aside from the Warthog, your options for um, playing accurate throttles in low budget don't exist. So the CH throttle doesn't really model anything particularly but I'm thinking it would be kind of cool to have the F-16 stick. I don't know though um, not a necessity really you can engage it's kind of pointless when you really, really get down to it but um, I thought it would be kind of cool to get the Oh, there we go. There's some AN-12s. That must be what their uh, escorting. So yeah, I thought it might be kind of fun. I'm looking into. I'm trying to find a good price on one. I don't want to spend more than hundred bucks for the set if I can help it. So I'm keeping an eye out on eBay. I, I guess I could justify a little bit more than that, but I, I don't really want to. I I, guess I have other hobbies. I might not get anything at all. I'm waiting right now, at this very moment, I'm waiting for a copy of Falcon 3.0 to show up in the mail that I think is going to add a bit to my collection. There we go, there's a nice aspect on that guy. Um, I am going to have to get the guy off my tail, though. Atoll, Atoll. That's bad. Atoll means bad. Run, oh god! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and at five o'clock. Oh, I should probably get. I should probably nose up. Bandit, bandit, at six o'clock. I think we got him, so we should be good for that. Let's get back on our waypoint and see if we can't get our. See if we can't find those AN-12s. Yo, what's the autopilot doing? I think we lost track of those AN-12s. 
That could be a problem. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm waiting for another copy of Falcon 3.0 to show up. This is an interesting one. I've already got Falcon Gold, but this is an original copy of Falcon 3.0. But it comes with all of the floppies and, and manuals for the expansion packs, obviously, and of, of course the maps. So. Radar contact, what do you say, 120 mile? Or 120 degree, I think he said? Really wasn't paying that much attention. Ooh, some F-18 Hornets. That's a different sight. 155 degrees, 23 miles. That looks like our F-18 friends, so we're not worried about that. 160 degrees, still just the F-15s, uh, F-18s. I don't believe that's a problem. I do wonder what happened to those AN-12s. I'm thinking maybe... I don't know, really. I don't have an explanation there. They just sort of disappeared. Maybe one of our wingmen got them. Maybe one of the other flights, uh, F-18s, perhaps. or Something along those lines, maybe they got them. Looks like we're doing a little close air patrol around our base before we end the mission, so... Let this take its course. Now, CH Products makes a really good um, flight stick. One of the... ooh, this is an air contact. This is a tornado or something. I don't care about that then. The <clears throat> one of the main benefits I think that I I've, I've seen a lot of people talk about, and I'm not sure that I can attest to because I've only had the stick for a year or so. One of the main benefits I've heard of the CH products products are that the flight stick and the throttle use potentiometers to read the inputs as opposed to like a ball joint or something like that. That's in the um they're not like little sensors it's um it's like a more like a guitar knob kind of it's, it's a potentiometer come on you know what it is what that makes it easier to clean it makes it easier to replace it's simpler to just swap in a new one if something happens to the old one you know um i've seen people talk about how they've had their ch products fighter stick for 20 years and it still works just as good on the other hand i bought a thrustmaster um one of the ps3 ones that they had released, um, not for the PS3, but the, the PC version. I, oops. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. And after um, a, a year or two, I think about two and a half years or so, I started having problems with the rudder, the twist. Now, of course, the CH products doesn't have a twist function, but I, I was having issues with the, the twist function on the um, flight stick. It was, it was jittering all over the place, and any of the games that I played, I had to disable it. Now, the, um, I don't have rudders, but the CH Pro Throttle, and this was part of the reason I got that, the CH Pro Throttle actually has a thumbstick built into the throttle, and as you can see, now, I could use the thumbstick for every direction of movement, but the way I've bound it in DOSBox is for my rudder controls. Which saves me from having to buy a set of rudder pedals, which is fine, because I, I don't think my seat's in a very good spot, the way the bottom of the desk is designed. There's just some logistics that just don't add up for using a set of rudder pedals with my setup as it is. Not that I couldn't. But... Man, man, it's 7 o'clock. Okay, where's he at?
Where? Hold on, now they're claiming that there's an enemy plane out here somewhere, but I don't see anyone. Oh, there we go. I've got a radar lock from them. That makes them easier to find, doesn't Oh, wait, no, that's not it, too. What? Alright, well, I don't know where the enemy is then. We're just gonna ignore him, get about an autopilot, get back on track. I guess if there was an enemy plane there, they took care of it. That's... Sometimes I wonder if I'm just dumb. But... But you know what? It's, it's, it's not... It's not all that complicated the game. And I don't feel like I need to play this game. I follow every damn regulation that the Air Force has about flying a plane. <clears throat> I don't need to do every single landing by the books. I don't need to worry about... You know, a lot of little things that I, you know, setting up my radio to talk to my wingman. It's little things that I just don't care about. This is fun for me. I like just flying around and taking in the scenery and trying to get that perfect shot off of the sidewinders. And, and I've gotten I've gotten fairly good at the game, I think. Um, although I'm still not playing on the highest difficulty. That's going to, some of that, that's what my change start incrementally going up a bit as we uh, play through more campaigns. But... As it stands, you know, I'm not terrible at the game. And the game does have very forgiving landings. So while this might look like a complete disaster of a landing, to some, it's a perfectly acceptable landing, as far as I'm concerned. Look, green dot and everything. Even though it took me half the runway before I even touched it. There we go. And that's our mission. End mission. Now, I know some people taxi. My throttle is a little finicky, so I don't generally taxi. It can be difficult to get little adjustments. So, let's see how we did. Reese hit a MiG-23. Well, Lieutenant Duncan, so they did shoot down the TU-22s. I thought they were AN-12s. They were TU-22s. Well, there were four of them got shot down. Okay. Well, I got myself a kill. Not complaining about that. Continue. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this should be the last mission of the day. 2300? Yeah. Two SU-24s, two Mirage 3s. Intercept them. Okay. So, as it stands, I think the enemy only has this one airfield in our area. If we could take that, that'd be great. Do they have air defenses, actually, at the, um, airfield here? They do. I'm gonna run some recon. Let's see what we're dealing with here. I wonder... Hmm. We're gonna try something a little different. This might end really poorly. We're gonna assign flights to attack that airfield because I'm sick of having to run intercept missions every twice a day. Well, okay, this is the last day. Oh, this is the last mission of the day. Okay, I'm gonna run this mission. If if we don't take that airfield this um, by the end of this day, then at the start of the next day of the campaign, we're gonna run some bombing runs, some seed, and some CAS missions. Not um, my flight, but 
I'm gonna run some AIs to go and take that base. I'm, I've never thought about doing that, sending your allies on a mission like that, but since enemy air defenses aren't amazing at that base, it might be alright. We're gonna do the same thing as we did last time, load a few in 120s and... And we'll get to see the beautiful vistas of the uh, Night Vision Falcon 3.0 mod. Very strange mod. I do like that at least during this um, campaign the sky is gray. Some of the missions I've flown with the Night Vision mod, the sky is also red, like the ground, and it is impossible to see what you're looking at in those situations. <laughs> So this is ideal. This is um, this is definitely a good way to use the night vision. And you can see the planes in mostly original colors there. Looks like we got some F-15s in the area. There's a MiG right there, a Mirage right there. What the hell is he doing? Yeah, go for it, buddies. This will be one close scramble. I'm actually going to ignore the MiGs for now because I know that my allies might be able to take them out fairly easily. This is what I want. These are the main... These are the guys that we really want to stop are these fellas here. The uh, SU-24s, I believe they are. Oh, there is a mirage on my butt, though. That's a problem. Okay, there are mirages not on me anymore. Oh, there they are. I haven't seen... You don't see a lot of these. Little, uh... Russian... Close air support planes. I forget what they're called. SU-24s or whatever. Not the SU-24. The SU-24 is the uh, fighter plane. What the heck are the little close air support SU-27s? Oh, they got him. We're good. That guy's dead.
Hmm. I think that was, um, that was most of the enemies that we had to get for that mission. Just autopiloted, I guess. I'm not really sure that I... care a whole lot about the rest of this mission. Seems like we got all the enemies in the area. Well, there was an enemy plane there, but it looks like he's pretty much going down. I'll have to worry about him. We'll bomb her. Big deal. Some more TU-22s here, off about 20, 20 miles, 10 miles, oh we're getting close to town actually. These guys should be pretty easy to take down. Bam bam at three o'clock. I think that's just the TU twenty two again. Should be good. Looks like our F-16s are fine. I don't know what my autopilot wants, though. It keeps, like, veering off of the path. You know what? Screw it. I think I'll just land. I don't really care. Tell how seriously I take the simulation. I just decided, yeah, I don't care about following my waypoints anymore. We're just going to land. Because it's a video game. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful landing. Perfect landing, definitely a perfect landing. I think we failed the mission. Yeah, we never killed the, um... There was two... Yeah, we didn't get him quick enough. It's a real shame. Well, let's see what kind of games we got, if any. 
Allied gains, none. Okay. So, part of our next... Mission's going to involve adding a flight to do some bombing on that airfield there. But we're not going to do that now. For now, we're going to accept our win and loss that we've gotten, and I'm going to go do other things, because Falcon is not my life, sadly. But we'll continue this uh, next time. That's all.